Hello, this is your bonus February tarot reading. I'll do three spreads. In the first spread, we'll look at the urgent message. It's whatever you need to know right now. Then, we'll have the advice spread. This is what's recommended to you. It could be in regards to the urgent message we just saw in the first spread, or it could be a general advice for the next couple of weeks. And uh, we'll end with the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future spread. This is a new format, by the way. Uh, though I have used all these spreads as parts of other readings in the past. Let me know what you think of this format. And please, share, like, and subscribe to support this channel. Alright, Libra, so here's the urgent message. Here's what you need to know right now. We have uh, the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Hermit. We have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Six of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. And we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Sagittarius, or pretty much any zodiac sign. So the urgent message is that uh, you've got somebody getting ready to express their love to you. You'll they'll reach out to you. They'll most you'll most likely go on a date or something like that and uh, expect a love confession. If it's not on the first date, then on the second date. <laughs> and for most of you, this is somebody you already know, right, uh, from the past. Uh, let's talk about that real quick. So I got the Six of Cups in the middle, clarifying the Ace of Cups. The Six of Cups is a soulmate card, but at the same time it is a card of somebody coming back from the past. For a few of you, it could be an ex, but I think for the vast majority of you, it's just somebody you used to hang out with, you used to uh, go to work with, you used to go to gym with, you know, somebody from your past, not necessarily an ex. And perhaps you're still connected on social media and they've been keeping an eye on you and they've been thinking about you. I'll, actually, they've been doing a lot of thinking. <laughs> and uh, you'll be hearing from them this in uh, at some point in uh, February, right? Uh, since this is an urgent message, then I would just have to assume any second now. So we got the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is them reaching out to you or approaching you. If you, the two of you are going to the same events, then they're, that's what they're planning. They're planning to approach you during that event. Or, again, they'll just reach out to you, text you, send you a DM, send you a pigeon with a paper message, I don't know, <laughs> send you a letter. Alright, so we got the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Hermit in the beginning. All right, the Seven of Pentacles is a card of somebody waiting. All right, and it's also a card of somebody looking at what they've done in the past and evaluating it, right? And uh, the Hermit clarifying it could be a Virgo you're dealing with or will be dealing with, or the Hermit is a card of somebody who's going within, somebody who is doing some soul searching, going through some kind of a thought process. So they're waiting, they're looking at this, they're analyzing this, and they're thinking about you a lot, <laughs> Libra. Right, so here comes that Ace of... Uh, Cups, clarified by that Six of Cups that we already talked about. So yeah, like I said, expect a love confession. If it's not on the first date, then on the second date, for sure. Right? That is if you decide to go on the second date, all right? And uh, hopefully the rest is history. At the end, we have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Both of those two cards could be interpreted as travel cards. So perhaps you will hit it off right away. You may even go on a trip together, like a weekend getaway together, or just you know, go sightseeing or go for a scenic drive. But, uh, you know, those two cards could also be interpreted as starting or restarting a cycle, right? The Wheel of Fortune is a major kind of card. It is a card of starting a new cycle. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. The 801s, yeah, travel, a lot of communication, back and forth communication. And my favorite interpretation of the 801s is the Cupid's Arrows card. All right, so this looks very promising at this point. I don't see any rejection cards. I don't see anybody dragging their feet. Not, a, not, as, of, not as of right now. <laughs> right, so in the second spread, the advice spread, I will ask for an advice for this particular situation. Because, um, like I said, I don't see you rejecting this person, but, you know, I don't see any commitment on marriage cards either. All right? Here's the advice spread, Libra. We have the Two of Pentacles, uh, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Two of Cups. And we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So I think I spoke too soon during the first spread when I saw I didn't see any hesitation. We do have hesitation here. For some of you, that is, a, that is hesitation, right? With the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Wands. For others of you, 
it's not really hesitation but perhaps you did not expect to uh, have somebody in your life uh, you didn't have to, you didn't expect to you know develop feelings for somebody in your life and perhaps with those two cards on the left the two of pentacles and the ten of wands perhaps this is you shuffling things around readjusting your schedule changing things a little bit so you could fit this person into your schedule <laughs> into your life right because the rest of the spread is awesome it really is a lot of forward movement cards right so the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck most likely it belongs to you because you are a king and a queen of swords and both the king and the queen of swords and their respective cards are holding up a sword right that's exactly the sword we see in the ace of swords so with the ace of swords i think this is you deciding to move forward with this person the ace of swords is a card of clarity the ace of swords is the answer yes the ace of swords is a card of a new beginning okay but in the beginning uh, of this spread right here like i said with the two of pentacles clarified by the ten of one some of you are hesitating you know as we all know libras do struggle with decisions every once in a while and there's nothing wrong with that libra just so you know that's just the way you guys operate right you need to go through some kind of a process before you make a decision not every time but sometimes you do and that's totally cool with me right and uh for others of you the two of of pentacles clarified by the ten of ones like i said earlier this is you just readjusting to the new reality i guess with this person in your life right here come the uh, six of ones clarified by the six of swords right there in the middle it's one six clarifying the other six both cards are forward moving cards the six of ones is a card of victory success it's a card of attention so you definitely have this person's full and uh, undivided attention and uh, the six of ones is also a card of feeling good about yourself or feeling good about what's going on with you right and uh, the six of swords clarifying it like I said it is a card of moving forward and the thing about the six of swords it's a card of an improvement okay I personally believe we are in each other's lives to make each other's lives better because otherwise what's the point point? and I think that's what's happening here your life will get better with this new person or rather somebody from your past that person into your life re-entering your life in the new um, in a new status for most of you right and uh, at the end we have the knight of cups clarified by the two of cups yep the knight of cups could be a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces but it's love you know the knight of cups is the most romantic knight out of all for nice the knight of cups is often referred to as the knight in the shining armor prince charming but yeah lots of love lots of romance and uh, the two of cups clarifying the knight of cups so there the two of you are there's two people in the two of cups that's you and them it's a card of a soulmate connection and it's also a card of unconditional love so yeah from this point on you know you guys can figure it out lots of love i think you're going to be happy to see this person coming back to you even if they are an ex if it is an ex it kind of looks like you guys are heading towards a reconciliation if it's uh, not an ex but somebody from your past i think you guys will enjoy a lot of time spent together and hopefully the two of you are heading towards a commitment all right so that's what i have for you libra so far let's take a look at spread number three the next good thing that'll happen to you in the near future here's the third spread libra this is the next good thing that'll happen to you that'll at least put a smile on your face um, we have uh, death clarified by the page of ones we have the two of ones clarified by the ace of ones then we have the knight of pentacles clarified by the three of pentacles and we also have the queen of ones on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a scorpio an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn or fire sign aries Leo, sagittarius or pretty much any zodiac sign i usually go with a king or a queen or both if, if one or both show up we got this queen of ones on the bottom of the deck i think this spread has something to do with the way you make your money or the way you used to make your money right so the queen of ones uh could be somebody you used to work with it could be a recruiter it could be a business partner or some someone like that right and uh, perhaps you haven't heard from them in a while perhaps the two of you even had some sort of a fallout not necessarily but uh, yeah this person is from your past and they're gonna offer you something like some kind of a business deal or a job some kind of a collaboration okay so yeah death the first card i came out could be a scorpio you dealing with but death uh, perhaps since that was the first card i came out perhaps this is somebody from your past somebody you no longer talking to or somebody you haven't heard from in a long time or perhaps this queen of ones went through some kind of a transformation perhaps they changed their business model or they changed 
whatever something changed in, <laughs> in this person's life and most likely it has to do with the way they make their money as well All right death is clarified by the page of ones here comes the message from that queen of ones in the middle we have the two of ones clarified by the ace of ones again it's those two cards belong to the queen of ones so perhaps they have a bright idea or they have a job for you right then with the two of ones perhaps they thought about this for a while they were formulating a strategy or perhaps they were thinking about whom they want to collaborate whom they want to build this new business with and I thought of you Libra right so here they come with the knight of pentacles clarified by the three of pentacles yeah work business and finances the knight of pentacles always talks about a very decent chunk of change. The Knight of Pentacles always talks about long term. And the Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration. So that could be, uh, again, a job. It could be just them wanting to do business with you. All right, so since this is a very positive spread, I think this will definitely be something you like. I don't know what you're gonna do, but I don't see this person, you know, having an ulterior motive or anything like that. I think they really do think of you as somebody they can do business with or somebody who could, who is the perfect candidate for that particular job. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Libra, for this um, reading, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also let me know what you think of this format. And uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing February.